Good morning, everyone. You're welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Review for today, Friday, the 4th of February, 2022. I'm Ken Kodomi. Open Heavens is authored by Adadi in the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Open Heavens is a guide to a close fellowship with God. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we want to say thank you for a new day and a new dawn, for another opportunity to be counted among the living. We say, blessed be your name, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, even as we pray, even as we learn at your feet today, we pray, O oh Lord, that you will teach us yourself, that you give us a receptive heart, that you will cause us, O oh Lord, not to be hearers of your word alone, but to be doers also in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise to Lord. Hallelujah. The topic for today is Living in Glory, Part 1. Living in Glory, Part 1. Our memory verse is taken from the book of Isaiah 60, verse 1. Arise, shine, for the light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Arise, shine, for the light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. A Bible reading is taken from Mark 5, verse 25 to 34. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood twelve years, and had suffered many things of many physicians, and had spent all that she had, was nothing better, but rather grew worse. When she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touched his garment. For she said, If I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And Jesus, immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, Who touched my clothes? And his disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitude thronging thee, and seest them who touched me. And he looked around about to see her that had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. And he said unto her daughter, Thy faith hath made thee go. Go in peace and be whole in of thy plague. Praise to the Lord. Hallelujah. The message. It is difficult to describe God's glory as it is a combination of the great power, splendor, and holiness that accompany God's presence, as well as its effect on man. Glory is one of the major attributes of God. It is a manifestation of His presence. Since man was created in the image of God, glory was originally part of his nature. However, when man embraced sin, the inherent glory of God departed. Romans 3 verse 23 therefore says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Sin did not only tamper with man's glory, it wrecked more havoc by also producing shame. A glorious life is a wonderful is so wonderful that Genesis 2 verse 25 said of Adam and Eve, and they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. Though Adam and Eve were physically naked, they were covered with glory. That was why they did not know shame. It was absolutely impossible for them to experience shame. However, in Genesis 3 verse 7 to 10, after sin entered entered, fear gripped them. They suddenly discovered they were naked and had to hide due to shame. From the fall of man in the Garden of Eden to date, every human being who ever lived without being born again wallowed in the realm of shame. According to Proverbs 3 verse 35, glory is the opposite of shame. Quite simply, glory is the atmosphere of heaven on earth. Glory is both the beauty and the power of God. It was lost at Eden, but regained at Calvary. Jesus came to redeem mankind and give those who accept him the hope of glory, according to Romans 3 verse 2. Today's memory verse tells us to arise and shine because with the presence of God's glory, nothing can hinder the rising of a child of God. I therefore pray for you today. You will arise and begin to shine in Jesus' name. Amen. There is nothing glorious about sickness, poverty, a sinful lifestyle, backsliding, bondage, and failure. Children of God must be determined to live above this problem, swimming daily in glory. Today, our Bible reading shows a classic example of a people 
who encountered Jesus Christ and was relocated from the realm of wallowing in shame to that of swimming in glory. Beloved, one of beloved, come to Jesus today and surrender all to him so you can also become a candidate of God's glory. Colossians 1 verse 27. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are beginning a series and the topic is living in glory. So today it is living in glory part one. And our daddy had explained, giving us um, what the meaning of God's glory. He made us understand. He said that our daddy and the Lord made us understand that it is very difficult to explain, to describe God's glory. But he made us understand that God's glory is the great power, the splendor and holiness that accompanies God's presence as well as the effect on man. So it is the combination of his great power, of his splendor and holiness that accompanies his presence. Praise to Lord. Hallelujah. Like we are also told today that it is one of the major attributes of God. That means when you see God, you will see his glory. So it manifests in his presence. Wherever the presence of the Lord is, his glory is also there. So you can see his beauty. You can see his splendor and his holiness. Praise to Lord. Hallelujah. No wonder in heaven. Praise to Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord in the highest. Amen. Glory, like we have also been told today, that was originally part of a man's nature is originally part of man's nature because we were created in God's image. Since God, his presence carries glory. So it is natural if you are created in his image, the glory of God is also inherent, inherent in man. But unfortunately, when man sinned, when man embraced sin, that glory of God departed from man. Man lost that glory. That man lost that splendor, that great beauty, that presence of the Lord left man and the glory was lost. Like, just like he, 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 our daddy told us in Romans 3 verse 23, it was recorded that all that have seen have come short of the glory of the Lord. So the glory of the Lord, man lost the glory to sin. Man lost the glory to sin. And as we have been told that not only did sin tamper with man's glory, it also brought in, it produced shame. Not only did man lose his, the, um, God's glory, it also produced shame. And like we're told today, that glory, that shame is the opposite of glory. So where glory is lacking, that, that, where, where, whoever is lacking the glory of the Lord, such a person is wallowing in shame. A typical example as given by that in the Lord, in the Bible, in the Word of God, is Genesis 2, verse 25. Adam and Eve, the Bible recorded that they were, even despite the fact that they were physically naked, but they were not ashamed. They did not even see it because they were covered in the glory of the Lord. They were covered in the glory of the Lord. But when they sinned, immediately sin came in. What happened? Fear gripped them and they suddenly discovered that they, had, they were naked. And they had to go and hide. Why were they hiding? Because they were ashamed. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus that in every form, that in every way that you have been wallowing in shame, that the glory of the Lord will cover you up in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Quite simply, glory is the atmosphere of heaven on earth. So if you want to enjoy heaven on earth, those that enjoy heaven on earth, they are the ones that have the glory, they are carriers of the glory of the Lord. Praise to the Lord. Hallelujah. But there's a good news. There's, yes, man lost the glory at the Garden of Eden when man sinned. But there's, the good news is that that same glory was regained at Calvary when Jesus died for man. If Jesus came to redeem mankind and also to give us to the hope of glory, according to Romans 5 verse 13. 5 verse 2 and like today's memory verse it says arise shine for the light is come and the glory of the lord is risen upon thee like our daddy said he said it shows that you that the glory with the prayer with god's presence then you can definitely arise and shine praise the lord it shows that when you have the presence of god in you 
nothing can hinder God's, nothing can hinder the glory of the Lord from you. That means nothing can hinder the presence of God, the great power, the beauty, the holiness of God in you. I pray in the name of Jesus that even as the word has come, that you will arise and you will shine in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That the power in the word of God will find expression in your life and in my life in Jesus' name. Amen. We are also made to understand that uh, there's nothing glorious in sicknesses, in sickness, in poverty, in a sinful lifestyle, in backsliding, bondage, and failure. And also, and because of this, as children of God, who are carriers of God's presence, children of God who are giving their life to Christ, just like we're told that if you are not yet a born-again Christian, then you are wallowing in shame. So it takes someone who has given, who has accepted the Lord and as his Lord and personal Savior to enjoy this glory that Jesus Christ came to give unto us. And, part, and like our daddy said, he said we must be determined to live above those problems. Those problems are bringing shame. But eventually you are a child of God. But you are still seeing sicknesses, poverty, sparks, like bondage, failure in you. Just as the word of God has come, the Bible says that you, you shall know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. Because the truth has come to you today that as a child of God, that you are a carrier of God's glory. I pray in the name of Jesus that every in every way that you are experiencing shame, the word of God will terminate it in the name of Jesus. The presence of God will spring forth in you and you will arise and you will shine in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My adventure that you have been deceived by the devil. Because now you know the truth and you, you have been deceived that you cannot enjoy the glory of God. Because the truth has come to you. Because the word of God has come to you. The word of God will begin to shine the light upon you in the name of Jesus. You begin to live in the reality of heaven on earth in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Just like we read in our Bible, the Bible reading for today. That certain woman was wallowing in shame because of sicknesses. But immediately she encountered Jesus, she relocated from the realm of wallowing in shame to swimming in glory. As many that have encountered Jesus and you have given your life to Christ, you begin to swim in glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Like we have been told today, that once the presence of God is in, is in you, once you carry the presence of God in you, nothing can hinder the rising of a child of God. Everything that has been hindering your, your rising hitherto, the word of God terminates them right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The presence of the Lord spring forth in you like never before. And you arise and you shine in the name of Jesus. As many that have given your, their life to Christ are wallowing in sicknesses, in poverty, in bondage, in failure. Those things are terminated by the presence of the Lord. The glory of the Lord spring forth in you. You arise and shine. Men, come to your light in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Just like we have been told that for you to enjoy God's glory, you need to give your life to Christ. This is the time you need if you are still wallowing in sin. Sin terminate, terminated the God, God's glory in the life of man in the Garden of Eden. And if you are still living in sin, then you are not enjoying, you can't swim in glory. This is the time for you to surrender your life and say, Lord Jesus have mercy upon me. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Come into my life. Let your presence walk with me and enable me to arise and shine and to swim in glory in the name of Jesus. I pray even as you have surrendered, you have given your life to Christ, that you will swim in glory, that shame will be swallowed up in the name of Jesus Christ. Even as Jesus Christ has regained our glory for us, that you begin to actualize that glory. You live in the reality of the glory of God in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The prayer point, Father, please let your glory fill me. Turn my shame to glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you so much for being part of the review for today. God bless you. Amen.